Hire and rental businesses will often create personal property securities leases or PPS leases by setting up lease agreements with their customers. There's nothing particularly special they need to do. Generally, their standard leasing paperwork will create a PPS lease. Bailments can also create PPS leases. Bailing property is as simple as giving temporary possession of it to someone else. However, like hire and rental, it only becomes a PPS lease if it runs for long enough. If it's something you do regularly, and if the bailment is paid for in some way. A lease or bailment agreement that runs for more than two years is a PPS lease. If you've created a PPS lease, then you can register it on the PPSR so that others know you have an interest in the goods you are supplying. Registration means that if your customer doesn't pay or goes broke, you're in the best position to get your goods or their value back. Please be aware, from May 20, 2017, the minimum duration of PPS leases has been extended from more than one year to more than two years. Leases of an indefinite term will not be deemed to be PPS leases unless and until they run for a period of more than two years. This change does not affect agreements entered into before May 20, 2017. For advice on PPS leases and whether you need to register on the PPSR, talk to your accountant your business advisor or visit ppsr.gov.au